Hi guys, it's Grant here from Collective, and today I'm gonna to show you four ways that you can get data in Power BI. Let's get started. So the first step to creating any report in Power BI is gathering data. Now there are four ways you can do this. The first one I'm gonna go over is importing data. For that, you will go to get data, and we'll just do Excel for now. Here we can choose a data set, open it up. And then here you will have the option to select which tables you want. And then it gives you the option to load straight to Power BI or transform the data first. I suggest always transforming the data first because you will rarely have the data in the exact form you want it for reporting purposes. Here it'll launch Power Query where you can do some things such as remove columns and replace values, create new columns, and then you would go to close and apply. By importing data, your data is copied from its original source and actually stored in Power BI. Another way to import data is by going to get data, SQL Server, and then here you would enter your server name and database name and do import. You'll click OK and most likely be prompted to uh, put in your credentials. And then once that is done, you'll be brought to the same navigation page as with the Excel file where you get to choose which tables you want to import into Power BI. The next way to get data in Power BI will be direct query. Here we will go to SQL Server and then you will input your server name and database name and then select direct query, click OK, and you'll be brought to the same credential screen as before with importing, and then you will be brought to the navigation screen. Your options for transforming data are limited using direct query because the data is not actually stored in Power BI, it is still stored in the original data source. Direct query is mainly useful for when you have data that needs to be refreshed on a daily basis or multiple times daily, and you want to ensure that you are getting the latest data. The third way I'm gonna go over of how to get data is a live connection. A live connection is unique to analysis services. So you will go to analysis services. You will enter your server and database name, and then you would select the connect live option. That'll bring you to the navigation screen, which is different because you will not be able to transform the data. And this is primarily used when your IT department has the data and the data models stored on premises and you're connecting live to the data and then creating a report based off of that. You are not able to transform your data using a live connection. The last way I'm gonna go over of how to get data is through Power BI services. For that, you will go to powerbi.com and go to the Get Data tab here at the bottom. You will be able to connect to data sets within Power BI services. Thank you for watching the video and be sure to follow Collective on LinkedIn and YouTube for more videos from me and the team. Thank you.